Greetings, it's Ayatosis Geo Nerds. Here we are out on the road again. A few cars going past here, but anyway. Today we're going to do something unusual. We're going to make a video about a smell. Uh, we'll give it a go. Uh, and we've all experienced this smell. And it comes from something we get not too often in Australia, but when we get it, we get it heaps. It's rain. And the smell is called petrichor. So let's just have a look at what petrichor is. We've all seen this coming down, a gorgeous thing, and when it hits the ground, it does all the little splashy splashies. But there's a lot more going on here than you'd think. There's some very weird chemical reactions going on. There's also some uh, aerosols being generated. We've known about this for centuries. But in 1964, for what reason, I really don't know, a couple of scientists at the CSIRO decided to do some research into this and um, his name was Richard Thomas and uh, the lady's name was Isabel Joy Bear, uh, known as Joy Bear and Dick Thomas. You can't make this up, really. Um, not a lot of photos of Dick, but there's quite a lot of photos of Joy, sorry. I can't help it. Anyway, serious research here. This is what happens. The rain hits the dirt, the soil, all its surfaces, and it creates a tiny little explosion, if you like. And, I mean, just looking at this, you can almost smell the petrichor yourself, and especially if the soil's been dry for quite a long time. And there are some chemicals in the soil uh, that the rain activates and joins together and you start getting that smell. And it doesn't smell the same everywhere because it has slightly different amounts of this. So this is a thing called geosmin. And it's a uh, chemical that's made by another little fella in the soil, a bacteria. And uh, this bacteria is called um, Streptomyces. And it's very common in all soils. And it makes this, but it just leaves it sitting there and the water brings it out. Now, if you look at these photographs, you can see the little aerosol particles coming off the drop. And these are being repelled because the reaction's pushing them out. Uh, in this one, it's even more visible and the wind gets in here, they've got an airflow and that's what you're smelling. So of course, humans have evolved with this and we have a brainstem reaction to this. You, you can't help it, it's a good feeling. So of course, we make perfume out of it. Um, this is not so much out of it. This is one of the bases for perfumes. I don't think people have put just pure petrichor on themselves. But here it is here. It's around. It's not particularly cheap perfume either, by the way, of course. I don't think there's such a thing as cheap perfume. Um, they make it for females. They also make it for males. Spice bomb in a hand grenade. That's what you want. Try and get that through, through airport security. And of course, if you like um, wearing a lot of makeup and dressing up and you want to be a goth, you can get petrichor makeup that smells like wet earth and pebble stones, whatever that is. So, of course, I'm sorry, it's a smell. I can't show you it, but I'm sure you've all seen this big lump of rock everywhere in the world. If my uh, viewers from uh, in other countries have seen this, Uluru, and it gets red occasionally. It does, and it really, the desert really puts on a petrichor show and uh, I've been out there when it's raining, I've been to Illaroo when it's raining but I've been in the desert when it's raining and uh, it can spin your head it actually has a brainstem effect on you, You go the, it's a very pleasant feeling, um, you get it before the rain arrives as the humidity gets into the rock and starts these reactions and uh, starts the geosmin coming out and then when the rain hits, you've seen the aerosol method of getting into the air and it gets quite strong. And then after the rain's been going for a while, it goes away because it's all been used. And as soon as it dries out, it starts again. So there you go. Petrichor, sometimes spelt with a H, sometimes not spelled with a H, it doesn't matter. It petra meaning rock, of course, T-rocks. And of course, uh, Kor is a Greek root for the blood of the gods. I don't know. Anyway, it's a good name. A couple of Aussies made it up in 1964, I might add. 1964, so pretty cool. Thanks to all the new subscribers. Short one, this one. I can't make a video about a smell. I just can't. But I had a go. Keep rocking. T-Rock's out.